Okay? So it's 619-900-4768. Okay? It's, it's really important that you use it. it. If you don't worry, you won't bother me because um, it will just go straight into my business email. So it's not my personal cell, so you don't have my personal cell, but you have my business texting. Okay, so then you guys can text me if there's a problem. And starting Thursday, I will be having office hours half an hour before class. So I'll be here from 11.15 to 11.45. I'll probably be right there, okay? So if you need to speak to me regarding an issue that you have, um, you could download the book, whatever it is, or if you just wanna come by and say hi and hang out, then do that as well, okay? Yes? Oh, okay, so yeah, so why don't you just show it? She's got the book, what it looks like. It's kind of, it's blue. Go ahead with the title of the book. Change Your Energy, Change Your Life. A Journey Through Your Personal Energy System. Yep. And there's the person uh, meditating on the cover. Okay. So, um, and it is an ebook. That means you're going to download it, you're going to read it on there. Okay, so so you just want to make sure that you get it on something that you can read it. You can also put it on your computer and print it if that's easier for you. Um, it's up to you guys, okay? Here's, um, so let's talk a little bit about, so the, um, let's talk a little bit about those beliefs. We need to become, yoga tells us that we need to become aggressively present if we are going to know what beliefs no longer serve us, okay? So let me tell you a story of a belief that I figured out that no longer served me. When I was in my, all growing up, I remember so clearly my mom used to say, oh no, you know, being a Latina mom, those of you that are Latina can probably relate. Oh my gosh, no, 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 don't, don't go out, um, you know, don't step on the um, cold concrete or cold floor, uh, you know, barefooted because, oh my gosh, you're gonna get a sore throat, you're gonna get sick, and you're gonna get tonsillitis. You see, what we don't know is that that's not our belief. The parents are trying to protect us. That's their belief. And now they're imparting their belief onto us. And we don't know any better because we are absorbing everything, right? So we think we trust this person. We trust this person. So we think that's, that's the way it is. So we then bring in our belief. Bring in your beliefs, you bring them in to your first chakra. Everybody's looking at me like, what you do with your hands? Right? So you bring it in and it comes right here into the area of the sexual organs. That's where our first chakra center is. That's where we house our beliefs. That's where everything, our tribal beliefs are there. Everything that you pulled in when you were a child, whether or not you were aware of it, you pulled it in. So I pulled in that belief. And I believed it all, and sure enough, not, what did I tell you last week? Your thoughts create your beliefs, and your beliefs create your reality. I thought about it, I believed it, and it came true. And every time I was barefooted, I would end up with tonsillitis. Well, I had been recently married and um, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and take my shoes off and I was gonna walk around. And by that time, I got so sick. I mean, I remember I got so sick that for four days I had 103 to 104 temperature and my neck swelled like this and my tonsils were so big and so inflamed and so full of pus 
that they were thinking about that they would have to go in and land some and then squirt them out. And just the thought of that was like, no way, Jose. And I was in bed, I was like, anyway. When I came out of that, I realized this doesn't serve me to keep believing this anymore. So it took me about six months to really pull out that belief, to really begin to change that way of thinking. And I had to feel the fear. Literally, I was almost afraid that, you know, to take my socks and shoes off because I was afraid I would end up almost there. I lost 11 pounds in four days. That's how sick I was. And it was like, wait a minute. I began to, you know, I began to notice that I was creating this reality and I didn't want that anymore. I was like, no way. I was 22 at the time. And I said, that's much bullshit. No way, no way. It's like, I don't want to get sick every time I take off my shoes and socks. So it took six months, I'm not gonna lie to you, it took approximately six, maybe eight months for me to get root out that belief. But since that day, to this day now, I'm 50, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've never gotten the tonsils again, ever. Because that's not my belief anymore. You see? But I had to be aggressively aware to realize that it was my belief. That somehow I believed it. Right? So those are the things that you've got to be aware of. You've got to be aggressively aware of those beliefs. But sometimes we're not completely aware that we have those beliefs until we're aggressively present and we hear that critical voice inside our head talking to us. Because what was happening was as I was taking off my socks to begin to work over this belief, my critical voice inside my head was saying like, you're gonna get sick, you better not, your mom told you, the last time you did that, you got sick, you better not, you don't have a whole lot of time to be sick, you gotta go to work, you better not, and that's my critical voice inside my head. So have you ever seen those cartoons where you got the angel sitting on one shoulder and you got the devil sitting on the other shoulder? Well, sometimes the ego mind is playing both of those, right? Can play the same thing. At that point in time, I was like, nope, I got this, nope, I got this, nope. I'm gonna stay healthy, I'm gonna stay healthy, I'm gonna stay healthy, I'm gonna stay healthy, it's okay, I'm healthy, I'm healthy. I had to begin to believe that. Now, each time I did, it just reinforced myself. But I was aware of what I was thinking. I was aware of what I was putting or I was listening to in my mind. So your homework, now open to your homework section. Are you ready? Here's your homework, put today's date. Your homework, if you choose to do it, All right, your homework is this. You're gonna take your phone and you're gonna set a timer. You're gonna set a timer right before you take a shower. Whether you take a shower in the morning or whether you take a shower in the, in the evening, doesn't matter to me. But the moment that you're completely naked, You're gonna hit the timer and you're gonna walk in front of the mirror and you're gonna stand there. Like this, in Tadasana. The moment that you become aware of the critical voice inside your head or the ego voice inside your head, you stop the timer. You stop the timer. 
and you write down in your journal how many seconds it was. No, write when you think something. So, so, okay, so watch. So, for those of you that are visual learners, right? Can I borrow your phone? Okay. So, pretending I'm going to go take a shower, right? Take off my clothes. I, I'm all lanky. I put a timer on. I put the phone down. I stand there in Tadasana. I breathe, and all of a sudden, I'm looking at myself, and then the first thought that comes into my head, oh, my God, you got to lose that cut. Boom, turn off the timer. Boom, turn off the timer. Oh shit, that was only three seconds. That's what you write in your journal. Three seconds. And you write the thought that you were aware of. Now, let me show that, then I'll hold that thought. Now, it can either be a downgrading thought, or let's say, for my guys, because the guys are a little bit different, they have an ego that plays a different trick on them. Let's say they put on this and they stand them to Dawson and then they're like, yeah, man, what sexy pot you are, right? So like, hey, yeah, who doesn't want this? The moment, the moment that you get that thought, you turn that, because any way you look at it, it's an ego thought. It is an ego thought. So you actually, and then girls, if you're, if you're in that ego thought too, the moment that you're aware of the ego thought or the critical voice, turn that dang thing off, look at the time, write it down, and then write that thought you had. Does that make sense? That, my friends, is your homework. Now, that, I told you guys that you were gonna get practical homeworks, right? Why? Because we have to become aware of our thoughts before we know that we've created a belief that no longer serves us. Let me give you another example of a dumb belief that I created that I had to get rid of. I dated I was Miss Goody Two Shoes and I was a smack and I was all those smart things that they said that they called, oh, you know, the teacher's pet, whatever you want to call it. 